Hello everyone and welcome to this video song frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and in one of my previous videos you'll have seen me um, showing my new Dell Dimension 4100 personal computer and having a couple of problems with Windows Millennium Edition. Well, today, in this video, my plan is to install Microsoft Windows 98 to totally format the machine and put Windows 98 second edition on and reinstall all of the drivers and applications. Because, well, I just feel that, like I said um, on my last video, and for some uses, Windows ME is absolutely fine. But for others, it's, you know, on some systems it's fine. But on others, it's really not all that good. It's just like Windows Vista. Some systems run it brilliantly, some not so well. But anyway, let's go. Now if I go through to the living room, we hear some, um, we hear some very unnatural sounding noises, which some people refer to as a southern accent. And there's a good reason for that. Here's Billy Corr. Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> and there is also Luke Miller. I'm across the room. <laughs> I'm only kidding on belly. <clears throat> so, what we have here is my Dell Dimension 4100. And look, this space here is almost as if it was designed for a yes sticker to be placed there. <clears throat> What should I install? Should I just install only Word 95 or install the rest of the office stuff? How much space do you normally use? I really don't know. <laughs> well done, Billy. Well, I would say install the rest of Office because, um, you know, the, no system is complete without it. And um, to be honest, I've seen you in, in, in your videos where you've had all of Microsoft Office uh, for Windows 95 on your systems before. Oh aye. You never know when you might need to pop open a spreadsheet or a database on your system. <laughs> Obviously if you were to have limited disk space I would say use Word. <laughs> I mean sometimes it's nice to actually do some writing on an older system. It, it, it's it's pretty cool, actually. Aye, I know UXW Bell does it. <clears throat> anyway, back to this system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it on the KVM switch. There you see it says Dimension 4100. Now I'm going to power the system on. And I'm going to put the disk in the top drive, because it will only boot from a disk that's in the top drive on this system. I know, it's quite odd. And it's it, it's the same with the uh, 4600. Only boots from the master CD-ROM. The, the, the one that's set to master on the cable. As you can see, I'm having some slight issues getting the system to boot. So I'm just going to see if um, my boot order has been changed. And I find that indeed it has. I feel that this system might benefit for a new, from a new CMOS battery. So I'm just going to go set that to a tappy CD-ROM so it'll boot from the floppy, then the CD, then the hard disk. Which is absolutely fine. So I'm going to go exit saving changes. Boom. Now hopefully this should actually work. So 
Someone's loading a Sierra game. Yeah. <laughs> now the Windows 98 startup menu has happened. <clears throat> All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to quick format this hard drive. So we need to do that. We need to go to D colon and then go CD when nine eight and then for Matt C colon slash Q slash S. Now that will make the C drive bootable. I have all the original discs for this Dell, but it's it's not a restore it's not a quick restore CD as you might know from my videos of restoring compacts and Packard Belt and what have you. With Dells, what you often got back in the day, and what you still get with their business line of machines, is the operating system CD, the driver CDs, and everything else on separate CD-ROMs. Which is good, because you can have the system exactly how you want it. Brilliant for power users, not that great for novices. I mean, <clears throat> the good thing about factory restore processes is that it's very easy. You know, usually you get something in the BIOS, certainly on HP machines, press 11 for recovery, and it guides you through it. But for uh, power users like myself, this system is actually better. Okay, so now I've formatted the hard drive. Now I want to copy the Windows files over, so it won't constantly nag me for the CD any time I install the slightest thing. Or register my concern about how the Dow Jones index is doing. Or the FTSE. Not that I mess around with stock markets anyway, but I mean it seems that you need the Windows 98 desk for anything. Oh I want a cup of tea. You'll need to insert your Windows 98 desk. I need a bath. You'll need to insert your Windows 98 desk. Next door's dog I think needs to go out. Do you need the Windows 98 set up desk to get married? Yes you do. In fact, in fact, I hope someone actually brings one to my wedding. Well, yeah, right when they ask, right when they say you may now kiss the bride, they'll ask for the Windows 98 CD. Oh, yeah. Or, 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 or instead of a, a, a ring, you could put the Windows 98 CD around the bride's finger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so one certainly should be presented at the altar. Uh, hopefully your new wife doesn't lose me. <laughs> Oh dear. It'd be like it'd be like dating uh, John from John's Arcade. Hey guys, we <laughs> are in the basement. <laughs> so how do I get down here? <laughs> anyway, just gonna copy these files over. Copy D colon backslash when nine eight backslash start dot snar. Now I know some of you purists uh, purists out there would be like, but gee, that system came with Windows Millennium. Why don't you just use that? Well, Computer Kid fourteen sixteen used to have one of these systems, a Dell Dimension forty one hundred, and he had problems with Windows ME, the same as I have. So 98, I think, is just a better fit. It is, arguably, the best Windows 9X operating system. But now I'm going to get shot by Billy and please don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we all have our own opinions. And you know what? That's absolutely fine. Because our nostalgia is better than each other's logic. <laughs> you know? You know, it's absolutely fine. You know, some people prefer Windows 95, some people prefer Windows 98. I like 98, but then I have systems that I will never install Windows 98 on. For example, my Compaq Armada 1590DT. I don't ever plan to install Windows 98 on that. Same with my 822 or any kind of mid-90s Packard Bell. I just, I just believe that 
Windows, 90, Windows 98 is just completely inappropriate. Oh, and that, there goes Belly. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we've... Yep. So now we've copied the files over, what we can do is reboot the machine. I like to do it this way. Hard reset your computer. So now we get to look at the Dell logo, which is nice. There we go. You can tell I'm a little because I hard reset my computer. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to now navigate to Windows Options slash cabs. I'm going to type setup. You know what we have to do now? We're running Scandesk. 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 Excellent. So that's scan disk running to check that the hard drive is okay. Again, I could have used the slash is switch to skip that, but it's nice to know that a partition is in good working order. And now here's the Windows 98 setup. So I'm just going to click continue here. And unlike a lot of systems that I've configured as of late, this is not going to yell at me that I have an NTFS partition that's non-readable. But it is going to want to install windows in c column backslash windows dot zero 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 but i'm not going to let it i'm going to click on other directory click next delete the dot zero 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 so windows 98 just installs in c column backslash windows it will yell at me caution the directory c column backslash windows already exists if you continue files in this directory may be overwritten do you want to continue with the specified directory? Yeah. Yes, because nothing will be overwritten, despite popular belief. Because there's no Windows install in the directory. Just another folder that says options. Now I'm going to go for a custom install. I'm going to pretty much check everything off, because I'm... I'm even liberal with my Windows installs. Way. Except for internet connection sharing. You you don't get to go on. You you've gotta stay at home. You you've gotta bath the dog. I'm not gonna let online services on either because I don't need them. Nor web TV. I'm gonna click next. My computer name. Well my computer's called Fred. Fred? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what? I was thinking uh, getting ones called um, Brian, Roger and John. Yeah. If, um, if you understand what I just did there, viewers, then you win some internet points from me. And I don't know how many internet points. Yeah, you didn't. Well, I'm afraid to say, Billy, that you're not the champions, my friend. <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> I just gave the game away. Whoops. Um, okay, so I've set the keyboard layer in the, uh, set the regional settings to English British. This is going to be a problem um, if we become independent. But, 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 that's not a re but that's not a reason to not vote yes. That is not a reason to not vote yes. I'm sure we can work around uh, my Windows 98 usage. Because in a brighter Scotland, we will all be able to have Windows 98 computers. Because we will make our wealth work for us. Which means we can spend our money doing things that we enjoy doing. And if that happens to be using old Windows 98 machines, then you have the power and the freedom in an independent Scotland to use an old Windows 98 machine. Vote yes on September the 18th for a brighter, fairer, more equal Scotland. Mm. Paid for by a bunch of liberals. <laughs> 
So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is actually going to sit here and copy files and take ages over it. So thanks to the magic of video editing, I will be right back. Yeah, that's totally the one to go for. Oh god, that's like, that's a mini salad. Uh. Yep. And what, we're have, what we have here is uh, Luke putting together his Windows 98 build. Hint, Ooh. I'm really looking forward to the video on that, Ian. I am too. And then Billy here setting his Packard Bell Legend 822 up because he's just put a different CF card in it. And um, this computer has just restarted with Windows 98. And Emperor of Days of Ice, I'm now about to install Office 95. Ah, uh, yeah. So, now, what we have is... Um, the Windows 98 Setup Wizard. It's wanting my name. And my company. Let's see. What shall I have as my company name? And now I've got to accept the license agreement and type in my product key. And now it tells me I've got to start the wizard. Sorry, but was that not the job of either C.S. Lewis or J.K. Rowling? Color Lowe's. Actually, I don't believe there was a wizard in any of the, the Chronicles of Narnia. They had a talking lion. They had a witch, and they had a wardrobe. As as far as I knew, anyway, there's a the line called Aslan. Thanks to the ice queen, the land was turned to snow. And because of uh, and because of uh, all the sanctions created by the austerity program, nobody was able to afford to heat up their homes that year. So, Mister, and, um, and everyone had, and everyone was running in the snow, running in the snow. <laughs> so, Mister Tomness had to go round heating everyone's houses up there to go and find some coal and bring it round to them. And, and not to mention, people were frozen and unable to move. If Mister Tomness is part goat, does he play a game on Steam called People Simulator? <laughs> Been playing that this afternoon. Michael Bay! <laughs> See, sometimes I like to partake in new games. Excellent. What? Integrated data electronics, 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 electronics cable. Electronics, 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 cables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a of, there's a lot of electronics. That's because you're in Radio Shack. Want to go past her? Want to buy a cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Hey. Oh, yes, the funny microphone over the speaker arrangement. The mic is misbehaving. You're gonna get a time out. Uh, take out, take out back and spank it. Ah. Uh, for being loud. Ah. Uh, I believe there's bulletin boards for people who like to spank their microphones. <laughs> this oh my goodness this has just descended into a whole load of derp right I like, I like how you call it 
bulletin boards instead of forums. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because apparently... <laughs> apparently in 19... Apparently it's still 1984. Actually, I was able to log on to a BBS through the this actual internet. Zero still exists. You can actually, I've logged into BBSs as well. And it's not like you have to call them now. I mean, you can do it obviously through the internet, so. You just need a phone line that doesn't charge you completely ridiculous prices. Oh, for actually calling a BBS. Get a phone. <laughs> Yeah, that, that must be Luke's BBS being called up right now. I'm just waiting for the computer to pick up. There's someone trying to dial into the BBS. Hey, server, pick up, pick up, pick up. Whoa, I was doing something. I was, I was street doing these file permissions. Leave me alone, would you? I'm getting on in years. I'm only a, I'm only a core 2 based Xeon. I'm only a Conroe based Xeon. Please mind, would you? Good old Windows 98. Good old Windows 98 loading and good old VGA mode with good old no drivers. <laughs> but don't worry, be because oh wow, and Luke's just uh, switched his Windows 98 custom. Excuse me, belt on. Even though it's currently running Windows ME. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I've actually got, um, I actually got this, the, all the original discs and documentation for this machine. The guy actually, uh, posted it with, um, the Stell computer, which I'm really very happy about. But here are, here is the driver CD, so I'm going to be using this. It does have Windows 98 support and Windows 2000 support as well. So Dell, out of the box, gives you a choice of all sorts of different operating systems that you could uh, choose to run with your Dimension 4100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and eke out CD1 one-handedly. And I've got to say these CDs are a lot more friendly than they um, than they were on the XPS T500, the Abstalgia PC. On the Abstalgia PC. No way. What's going on? I wonder if any of those would actually work. I wonder if any of those would actually work. <laughs> Don't think Windows 98 would support CGA very well. Anyway, as I was saying, the other the other CD used to give you a stern warning that it was only meant to be used by uh, computer technicians. Well, let's see what this one says. The Dell Resource CD is about to begin the installation routine. Device it once the installation has been completed. You can launch the Dell Resource CD. By reinserting the CD-ROM in the drive, the application can also be started from the Dell Accessories group on the Start menu if the CD-ROM is already in the drive. Personally, I don't know why this would actually need to be installed. And it just kind of seems like... Um, I don't know. Why would you need to install the installer for a CD-ROM? Un unless it makes it go quicker. Which I think is what Dell was actually uh, going with. However, all I can see is if people... If if they're actually using Dell systems um, to take screenshots of programs for magazines, then Dell gets some free advertising because there's a Dell program group. <laughs> Used to see that sort of thing all the time in certain computer magazines. Okay. Don't know why it suddenly chose to start the active desktop. We don't need that.
and then I want to go to Dell Accessories and then start this. I'm going to click on Next and then System Model, I'm going to select it, Dell Dimension 4100. So now I'm going to install the display driver. It's the GeForce 2MX. So I'm going to right click on here because um, I will actually need to manually install the driver and that path is going to tell Windows where the driver is. So what this does is brings up a guide on how to install the driver. Excellent. To get to the driver installation, I just right click on my computer, go to Properties, Device Manager, and then I go to Display Adapter, double click on that, and when it, where it says Standard PCI Graphics Adapter VGA, I'm going to double click on that and click on the Driver tab. I want to update the driver, I'm going to click Next, I want to search for a better driver than the one I'm currently using. So I'm just going to right click in that box and then select paste. Now I've pasted the um, location where I've just extra extracted the drivers. Now to click next and it's still not finding them. I think I found it. There we go. Windows 98 ME Sorry, I that was my bad. Didn't find the folder, and there we go. 32 meg NVIDIA GeForce 2 MX Dell. Now I just need to click next here, and then the driver will be installed. I just need to be careful. So now what I'm going to do is I will be back once I've installed all the drivers. And just before I do go, you can now tell the display driver's installed because um, the icons have now taken on more colours. And the whole desktop just looks a wee bit more civilised. And look, you've even got the gradiented title bars. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to up this display to its native resolution of 1280 by 1024 and go to true color 32 bit and I'm going to let the computer restart because it prefers it when I do that. So those of you who've seen UXW Bell's most recent video on his uh, gateway, he did this, the machine has, power, he, it has cycled by exiting Windows, going to DOS, and then back to Windows again. And now the computer is at its native resolution, and everything is tiny! So I'm going to reset the mouse pointer, and then I really will jump cut to when all the drivers have been installed. Maybe, maybe I'll show you the sound one, because that's on a different disk. And one thing about the mouse, the IntelliPoint mouse installer, it actually lists Scotland as a nation. Look at that! Please select the country or region where you acquired this product. Scotland. I love that. Please select the device from the list of Microsoft. Well ladies and gentlemen, as I was away to um, as I was away to start recording the next part of this video, um, it turns out I've actually sold something on eBay, so that's good. Um, because I shop at Aldi, um, that's my food budget sorted out for the next maybe two weeks. <laughs> Aldi's brilliant like that. Um, and I'm not being paid by Aldi to say this. I would like um, I would like to make it known. But um, I still need to install a few drivers. But most of them are already installed. And I would like to show you something now. Look at what's here. The modem finally made an appearance. Way to go, Windows 98. <laughs> This is why I love this operating system. It just works. Now, time to try and find disk. I don't know which is disk one and which is disk two.
There's two sound card driver discs. Why is there two when I only ever use one? Alright, ah, one is for Windows 2000 and Windows ME. That's not the one I need. I actually need the one for digital 1024 software. And this has got the Microsoft Windows 98 and NT4 drivers. Anybody, any questions? Now. Oh. So I'm just going to drop this disc in. And I'm going to also need to install the uh, software for the Ethernet card that I added. There we go. So it's just basically just... Um, I'm going to go for the full installation because you get an, a few nice fripperies with your Creative Lab Sound Blaster card. Which I like, including the piano. And these cards have better sounding bagpipes than the Auth32. And um, oh, yeah. <laughs> as a Scotsman, this matters to me. <laughs> exactly. They can take our wave table, but they can never take our bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, creative. Now a wahim and bal your heat. Yeah, we ball bag. Getting on. I want the sound card to work. The Sound Blaster Live is actually a good sound card. It's so good that I can show you what one looks like. There you have it. There's a Sound Blaster Live. It's It's got like loads of holes in it and everything. And like, it's got like printy circuit boardy things and and they capacitor type things and some some ball bags put an integrated circuit there and there's some um, connectors of sorts and um more connectors no i actually i actually do know more about that obviously that integrated circuit is necessary for the sound card to be as awesome as it is so if anyone wants to challenge creative, then uh, go right ahead. But I stand by what they did. So now we're away to restart the computer, and then hopefully we will get to hear some magical sound. No, that that's just Luke's microphone um, with the feedback. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's more lines in autoexec.bat as well for uh, DOS 16, uh, Sound Blaster 16 support. And now, let me be the first to present to you... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sound. Mm. So I'm just going to reset my uh, levels and I'll give you a wee shot of, and then, then we'll have some uh, hands on with the uh, Creative Labs piano thing. Our leaning tower computers. Yeah. With, a, with a white keyboard on a black case. Yeah. Excellent. Sounds good. And I want to go into the audio HQ and select the keyboard. Yeah. 
Now we're going to see what these bagpipes actually sound like. There we go. Yep. Yep. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the David Metvin emulator. No, it isn't. If it was a David Metvin em emulator, it would have to be an early version to be playing as badly as that. David Metvin is actually one of my favourite um, artists because he's a piper. And I like bagpipe music. It's brilliant. Anyway, um, time to go ahead and install the Ethernet driver. Won't have as much fun with that, but I can assure you, once I start connecting this machine up to other machines, playing games, you know, if anyone wants to come round, pick up a Windows 98 laptop, I can game with them on this baby. And that, and that is why I installed Ethernet. Back in a minute, chicken salad. <laughs> yum yum! <laughs> I should have eaten at Luke's tonight. It just depends. I, I don't know. Oop. <sighs> tell you what I had for my dinner. Uh, tell you what I had around tea time tonight. An episode of the Computer Chronicles and a lie down. <sighs> Now, just to, uh, all I need to do is click install. Computer name Fred, work group, work group. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just click driver install. Driver install succeeded and system will restart now! Mm -hmm. Why did it have the need to shout at me? Seriously, look, there's a wee exclamation mark there. What? Don't need to shout at me. Mm -hmm. First, let me kind of put the sound scheme to one that I want and then I'll be right with you. Here we are. Oh no, Power Mac Galaxy's away to start talking. Mm. Kidding on. That used to be his uh, video sound. And now here's a... Now it's a way to find and install the drivers for the Ethernet card, at least I hope. Yeah, there we go. Still ask me for the Windows 98 CD-ROM, but I can tell it quite wisely to look and see colon backslash Windows backslash options 
backslash cabs. And there it goes. It's taking a wee while. Pull it. Oh, there we go. Needs to restart again. Stupid thing. Taking blooming ages. So there you have it. That is all the drivers installed. I think what I will do now is then get that to you when I've pretty much installed all my applications. But um, for the most part, this video is nearly complete. All I need to do for driver installation at the moment now is right click on my network neighborhood and change the logon client to client for Microsoft Networks. And then there we are. So I will be back once my apps are all installed. So I'm kind of at the, well, I wouldn't say the halfway point, but um, I've got a lot of apps installed, but uh, not everything I wanted uh, just yet. I do plan to install Office and Work Suite uh, on here, Office 2000, Work Suite 2001. But I have um, Best of Entertainment Pack and Entertainment Pack for uh, PB, there we go. I have um, Enter Video Win DVD, which uh, came with this computer, um, Paint Shop Pro 7, and Netscape Communicator, because in the uh, words of uh, the Lazy Game Reviewer, my nostalgia is better than your logic. And I've, I got to thinking, this machine reminds me a lot of my 2001 custom belt, even more so than uh, the uh, custom belt that I had a few weeks ago which had a, a VIA chipset uh, just like my 2001 custom belt this thing reminds me I think more of it so I mean I used to spend a lot of time in the summer making web pages and I used to do so with the Netscape Compose uh, Netscape's uh, communicator so uh, that's why I have Netscape on here not that I plan to browse the internet, just that, well, it's kind of fun to bring back all the old memories, I guess. Anyway, um, so away I go, I will uh, install some more applications. Well, it is now, it is now uh, just coming up to quarter past five on the uh, 27th, I believe, of August. Um... <clears throat> and uh, the PC is completely set up, pretty much. I think I've only got maybe a couple more apps to install, stuff like, um, I don't know, um, Roxio Easy CD Creator 5.0. But um, apart from that, I'm mostly set up. Got the entertainment packs, uh, Dell accessories... Um, I installed Croc, like I had on Windows ME, Paint Shop Pro, 
and Carter the mouse uh, and telepoint installed Netscape communicator because my nostalgia is better than your logic the uh, days I spent in summer 2001 writing uh, web pages and composer I knew I want to install click and play as well but for now um, let's have a wee game just to see how well it works I'm gonna play um, stunt driver which is actually an FMV game um, it's quite an interesting game where you're driving around a racetrack that's uh, rendered in full motion video. Oh, sorry about the light. Oh wow. Yeah, this this is in some ways quite a difficult track, but in other ways it's really quite fun as well. Whoopsie. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is how we do! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I probably could have gone for two whole spins there, but I didn't want to risk it. I got I got two really big steering wheels there. That's nice. So there you have it. That's this machine. It seems to be in good working order the new. So um, I guess that will do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel, and um, also feel free to like us on Facebook. The URLs will follow. But for now, thank you for watching, and please join me for my next video.